In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about applying the color mode to your photographs so you can just adjust the color and not the value. Here I have this bird with various uh, values in it. And my goal is basically to make it, let's just say the color pink. I'm right over here. Here's my photograph. I'm going to create a new layer on top of it. And if I'm on this new layer, I click on my brush, it's on airbrushing and it says medium blend. And I come over here, I choose my uh, a pink color. I come over here and I start painting. Nothing comes through. And that's not at all what I want. I want to be able to see the details. I want to see all his feathers come through. So that's not working. What do I do? I come over to the layer, I tap on N, I scroll down to a mode called color. And you'll see right away over here, all of the details are now, now coming through. I can just paint all over. It's a high intense color. Okay. And now he's pink. Uh, and we can do this with any color. How about red? Here's red. Let's try green. Whoa, very intense. In the color mode, it's important to realize that value, in other words, the lightness or the darkness of a color, it doesn't register in the color mode. But what does register is the saturation of the color. So you can choose a color to be intense or less intense. In other words, less saturated. I want it somewhere in the middle, so I'm going to place my little circle here. I'm going to tap over here and I'm going to start coloring. And so now you can see the little bird has a far less intense green. And you know we can keep on uh, making it less saturated if we wanted to. So here's here's more or less. So super easy to change just the color of an item with the color blend mode. Now this bird has pretty much on its own hardly any color and you saw how we could apply those different colors to the bird. But what happens when we have a photograph that already has color on it? So we have this beautiful bird and he's very colorful. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to set the N to color. Okay, it's now on C, so I know it's on the color mode. And now the same thing, I can go over here and choose a color. Let's just say I chose the color orange. Okay, now let's just see what happens when I apply an intense orange. Okay, so this is what it would look like if I just used the intense orange. Let's move away and get a little bit less saturated. Okay, so now less saturation, and we can go far less saturated as well. So it was hardly any saturation. Okay, so now we have these three different variations of the intensity of orange. Let's just say I wanted to, um, let's make it purple. I'm going to tap purple. I want it to be an intense purple. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to increase my brush a little bit. Okay. Now, I want you to notice something. This value of the purple, right here and right here, notice that these colors are darker than what's actually showing up. And that is because the color mode is faithful to the value that's already in your photograph. It will only change the hue, the purple color. So it's going to be purple, but it's always going to match the value that's already in your photograph. So it's, it's a very powerful mode in that way. So you can make just these incredible adjustments very quickly and easily. And you never have to worry, oh, uh, what if it's too light or too dark? And that's the beauty of the color mode.
Now you'll notice, okay, so this is what he looks like now. Okay, now he's got a, a purple beak, kind of exciting. Now, down here, we have a, uh, a beak that has, uh, the part of the beak has more of a purplish, reddish hue and a little bit of blue. Now, what happens if we apply the same brushing effect over the beak? Well, you probably already know, but we'll do it so you can see what it looks like. I haven't adjusted the value at all. Now I'm just moving down. I'm coloring over this area and it's just adjusting the color. And you can apply this to so many different, so many different things. It's really fun applying this to black and white photographs. I'm going to increase my brush size and I'm just going to go all over this picture. Okay. All the values are the same. It's just now all purple. And again, we can just so easily just change our color. Uh, let's make it, let's make it blue. You could just do half of or part of your picture. Okay. Uh, I could individually go over these leaves and make them that particular color. So you may have seen this uh, in the past and wondered how do people do that with their photographs? Well, this is a very simple method to do it. Let's go to the harmony section right down here. What goes well with the blue? Well, it's saying that this pink and this yellow go really well with this blue color in the triadic color scheme. So I'm going to tap on this yellow color. Okay, I'm going to come back to my disc mode. Tap on my bird. And I'm going to apply that color to the beak. The, and the really neat thing about the color mode is that it takes away a lot of uh, fear that you're going to mess up because as long as the photograph is well done in regards to its value, your piece will probably turn out pretty well. The big thing, and I'm going kind of fast, is that you pay attention to the shapes and where they end. So right here on the highlight, I just kind of got a little bit closer to my canvas so I could kind of get into the detail. So you can see, here's his beak. I'm back on my wheel. I'm going to tap on Harmony. And this is the triadic scheme, like, like I mentioned. I could tap on this and look for other color schemes, but I want to stick to this one. We're just going to stick to three colors. So I'm going to tap back here, tap on this pink color. I'm going to tap back here. That uh, Harmony tool, this is so useful for just peace of mind that your colors look great together. So use it, use it, use it. So we've chosen our pink. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to color on my pink. Now his eye is uh, kind of greenish and we're going to change that. Okay. All right, so now I'm, I'm back. I want to include this in the yellow as well. And now I'm looking at his eye and I don't really, I'm going to bring this bar right here, by the way, this brings up the value of the color. Okay. I'm going to tap on my disc. I want it kind of desaturated. Okay, so here's what he looks like right now. 
Now I got this area. Hmm, what do we want it to be? I'm thinking probably that pink color. And you can do the same thing, make your brush pretty tiny and we'll follow along this strip. Okay, so if you like the strip, great. If you don't, well, we can change it. Uh, notice that, that over, uh, this shape over here should also be pink, so I'm gonna include that. And I'm just kind of getting the edges I'm toying with the idea of coloring the whole thing in this pink range or just leaving it that greenish hue. I kind of like the effect that it's both. And you can make a decision if you're following along what you're going to do. So here's my little bird wing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, I like that this is still in that turquoise range because there's reflection in the bird's feather feathers and it allows us to be a little bit more uh you know just allows for a more realistic feel we went over choosing a color the saturation effect in the color mode and we even went over the harmony section where you can choose a color scheme and apply it all right we are going to move on to the next lesson